another cute Christmas decoration. This one right here, that's optional, but you can get that from a Dollar Tree, everyone. And the paper here, the glitter paper here, I also got it from a Dollar Tree too. It's all different color. I made this yesterday just to show it, to share with you how it's come out. This you can use as the centerpiece. You cover the bottom and the top, you leave it open. You can get the Dollar Tree battery candle, the, the long one, and you can leave it in here. It looks so beautiful at night. And also, you can get you can get the flower at the Dollar Tree, and then you can make the vase for the centerpiece. So pretty. Do that for him. Also, you can do that for the uh, Thanksgiving. You do the orange and, and white or orange and yellow, whatever color you want to do for the pump, like a pumpkin and then decorate around with the fall color. Yeah, on the top, I leave it open, but when I make an ornament, I'm, I close it. So there is two options you can do. The two piece paper here that I have, this, the wide side, four inches and the long side is eight inches. And the small one right here, two and a half inch by eight and a half inch. So with this, I'm going to mark half an inch on each side here. You can use the glue stick or you can use the hot glue gun. I use the hot glue because um, it's easy for me to show you nice and quick the glue on here, the line that I mark here, a little glue right here, and then I'm going to move this half an inch that I mark here over so I know exactly right there. I have something like this. I want to go inside the circle here. I have the circle right there. Cut two. Put the circle on the side. You don't need to do anything yet. These two right here, you're going to mark a quarter of an inch right on the top here. And then you're going to make the straight line a quarter of an inch from one side to the other. Like that. And now from here, on the bottom here, on the bottom, you're going to mark a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch all the way. You can mark on the top here too. Go ahead and connect this line together all the way. You're gonna connect a quarter of an inch like that from top and bottom now, all the way, everyone. Now everyone when they have is something like this. I'm going to place or you can do separately, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to place two together. And then I'm going to cut two at the same time. So to save my time everyone. So go ahead and cut this on the stripe all the way, but stop where the top line right there. done I have to like this everyone so I have the glue on the top of the tube here and then this one is going to wrap around it or around So now this is done with the top one. 
And now you're going to do the bottom. It's okay to put your hand down like this and then gently, don't bend it, gently push this down so it's not on your way. That's why I told you, if you want, you can use the glue stick, it's easier for you because the, the hot glue gun, it tends to dry quick if you don't do it quickly enough. But it's all up to you. So go ahead and do exact the same for this side. Okay, so now when you have something like this, this is the easy part. You go and eat between the blue and the purple. So just want to make sure you do, you spade this out. Make sure one it go into between like this. The purple and the blue, purple and the blue, and then go all around. So now I have a slide this everyone. So you see the purple and the blue, purple and blue, purple and blue. So what you need to do, you're going to work one side at the time. So either, either side you want to do. I'm going to get the blue and I'm going to go around the top here. Right here, you're going to pull it up. Let it go next to it. And then the next one, make sure it go between the purple. The blue go between the purple. So like that. You see? And then this, go to that. And do the little glue here. This paper will stay good with the glue too. The glue stick. So feel free to use the glue stick if you don't have the glue gun. You see the whole thing in here is fit perfectly together like that. And then the bottom one, do exactly like this, but it's just upside down, do it exactly the same. Bring this out with your finger. See how beautiful that is? Now you're going to turn into this side. You're going to do exactly the same thing. I have them all together like this everyone so when you're done you can get the pen or pencil whatever you can go in eat between of them and pull it down gently pull this in between so it like this isn't that look so pretty you can make a hanger or you can just put the bottom here and then leave it open on the top do some decoration put some candy in there and you are set for the gift add some little candle or something like that in there to make it uh, for the wedding or whatever centipede for the wedding i love art and craft everyone you can support me here to support my channel to watch the video before you comment that's what i'm asking you because when i upload the video the comment come in so quickly i'm not gonna answer that the circle that you cut earlier. I'm going to put the glue on the top here. Sorry, sometimes my hand is like over. But basically, you just get the glue and go on the top of the circle here. I'm using the pearl, everyone, for the bottom part right here. Remember, you place the pearl in here, you don't pull, because when you pull, the hot glue will pull the, the pearl piece apart. I'm 
you can put the candy in or whatever you decide to do if you want to make the on so poke the hole here in the middle right here i'm using this type of ribbon everyone and i'm gonna make it go through this little tiny hole here pull this and tie remember i just give you an idea what to um how to do thing but you decide what you use it for okay i'm gonna add a little glue here so that thing won't fall down i'm gonna go right to here on the top Add the glue on the top here. Put that right on the top. So let it dry a little bit. You do it on the top too. I drove home today from the school and I saw someone run over the bunny heartbroken oh my god oh i feel like i just want to go get the body and then bury it i don't understand how you miss the bunny i don't know maybe i can just get the sign and put on the street and say dear crossing or something like that to make people aware dear so they, they are worried that they're going to damage their car. And then they will slow down. But bunny, I don't think they care. I have to show you how to make a bow. So, to make a bow, here's a piece of paper. You're going to cut about two inches or three inches square. So you fold in like this. And then you're going to fold it again. You're going to cut this just right in the middle. Don't cut it through. Leave the middle about a quarter of an inch right in the middle. Don't cut it out, everyone. You cut it out, you out of luck. Like that. And then you go on to this side. You go on to add the glue right in the center. Move this in. Move this in. Hold your finger right there. Go into the opposite side. Go this way. And go this way. Hold your hand there. See how cute that is? You go in like this, go right into the line that you leave a quarter up and in. This side also, do the same thing. This one right here, you go straight across. To make like this, go cut this extra away. Now you have something like this. I want to move this one. So it stay right there, and then this stick right here, move this, not stick, but this thing right here, move over, and it wrap around. Now you have a bow. The extra, put the glue, glue that in, and you have it. So after I make a bow, I make two glue and the pop up. Get to the end here. Get the ribbon here, one side for each. Place here. And I glue my hand in here, my finger in here too. So that's awesome. So that's one bow. And then turn and see this side. The same length of the ribbon. 
add the blue. So it's like that. Isn't that so adorable? And that is the end of my activity today. Stay safe and take care.